Happy, happy, happy new moon day. Yeah, Shabbat happened yesterday. The month ended and now we are on new moon day. We had the darkest moon of the entire month. Last month completed the first month of the real new year. This now opens up the second month of the new year. What is the purpose of the new moon? We're going to find out. And we're going to do the real. We got back to back. It's the first time I've done back to back chapters from the true scriptures. It's the first time. So from the time we've been translating the true scriptures, today will be the first day that we've done back to back, live, fresh. What's the purpose of today? We're going to talk about the power of being one in Yahuwah on this new moon day. And we're going to break down what is the purpose of the new moon. The new moon is the new moon, the new month. This is not even difficult to understand. You see, we've been fooled for so many years, and we're just going to tear down. We're going to tear it down, Brother Robert. We're going to tear it down. We tear down all sorts of paganism day by day. There's not a day that goes by that promote the truth does not tear down idols. Not one day. Every single day we tear idols down. All you got to do is watch our channels. That's it. That's why everybody's got to hit the like button right now. Hit the like button. No matter what platform you're on, we're going live primarily on YouTube, but we also stream simultaneously these lives on Facebook. So a big shout out to our incredible YouTube family. Over 76,000 subscribers strong. Well, we started a campaign. So when we did the TSNT, the True Scriptures New Testament, that's the Barit Hadash campaign, they say it's about, what, four months ago now? How many months ago is it? Now, they said it's like six months. I was surprised. We kicked it off on November the 9th, 2023. Let's do the math now. I keep saying three, four months. Let me get it right. So December the 9th. Pagan month called January the 9th, February the 9th, March the 9th, April the 9th. All right, we're over five months now. We are not six months. Sean told me we were sitting, no, we're over five months. We've been in the TSNT.org. So look on my screen. Support now at TSNT.org. That started November the 9th. 2023. So we're over five months into the campaign. What's the purpose of the campaign? We Now, we started out translating scriptures in the Tanakh. The very, very starts about two years ago. It took over one year of dialing in translations. We started in the Tanakh. What's the Tanakh? That is the old sign name, pagan name, Old Testament, right? So we started in Tanakh, and it took about a year to get Genesis done. There's 50 chapters of Genesis. That's by our sheet. And during that process, we were nailing down. See, I've been studying original languages now 17 years, but I spent three and a half years, six to 10 hours a day, getting down all of the, co getting the cobwebs and, 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 the, and the basics and the foundations of Abari, that's Hebrew. Aramaic, that's Aramit, Aramaic, the real word is Aramit, right? And you and me, that's Greek. Just spent the studying the origins of words. Daniel Bacote coming in with some kingdom business on this new moon day. Hey, you can always do kingdom business. Every day you can do kingdom business. Hallelujah. We spread the word. Elmer's in the building. Nirob's in the building from Bangladesh. I'm just warming it up here. I'm warming it up. Let me get it cranked up. Yeah, man. Y'all better put your seatbelts on today. Y'all already know. If we're going back-to-back -back days, it's going to be hot. New moon day. Let me get dialed in. 
Send your shout outs. Everybody hit the like button. Everybody hit the share button. New moon is the new month. Make no mistake about it. You don't have to guess. You don't have to wonder. I'm going to show you real quick. What's up, Devin? Coming in from Texas. You never again, once you hear this once from Promote the Truth, you don't have to guess. You don't have to wonder. Like, don't let Christianity, which is satanic, fool you. Right? So everybody hit the like button. I'm going to go see how many people cooperate with Yahoo's kingdom. Who do a kingdom business? Who's all hit the like button right now? If you haven't hit the like button, it's not a good look on you with the kingdom of Yahuwah. It's not. Yahuwah is increasing knowledge through technology, through the internet, powerhouse moves through these lives. These lives are like power moves, right? This is like crazy. My wife, y'all give a shout out to Lena. You'll see her on here is Lena Torres. It's Lena Torres Noland. We're in Colombia, South America, beautiful Cali, Colombia, where it ranges between 70 and 88 degrees Fahrenheit year round. We're able to keep windows open here 24 hours a day, year round in beautiful Cali, Colombia. That's where we're celebrating New Moon Day from. I'm going to give a shout out. Where are we at? Let's go around the world. Hey, y'all dropping in. Where y'all coming in from? Y'all showing all the new people how we represent? The power of one is what this whole lesson is about today. We're having a new moon gathering. We don't always do that. I'm busy. Busier than bu I am busier than busy. Translate. I've been translating since 6 a.m. this morning. I'm in Mahashim, the book of Acts. It is deep, deep, deep. It is big books. <laughs> a lot of translating. That's why we got to make some some announcements too. We're going to extend the TSNT all the way to April 30th. I just, I thought we could be nailed down by the 15th. Ain't going to happen. Y'all pray for your brother. It's my eyes. I got to, we looked up, me and Lena looked and we realized it wouldn't be any good for me to get all the translations done and then me go blind. <laughs> Y'all don't want that. Y'all don't want that. It wouldn't do any good for me just to pass out and be jacked up for six, seven months, have to recuperate. So we decided, let's get, let's, we said our goal is to get it done in the, in the, what they call April, that's a pagan name, but in the month of April, we decided, so we said, look, let's give me a little breathing room in there to get it done, and we want it done right. So we're going to take the TSNT.org. You got all the way, all of y'all that are accumulating, you got till, the end of April. We didn't want to do any other extensions, but we think it's wise. All in favor, say yes. Give your brother some love. Say yes. I need my brothers and sisters out there that loves Yahuwah, that wants the real word. And let me tell you why we got to do it, why it's taking me a little bit extra time. I thought I could have it done. Hi, we were setting a big long goal by, you know, the Pesach, the, the Passover. We were setting a long stretch goal. Like if I could get it done by the Pasaha with the T, that's the Passover. Then we were like, look, let's go ahead and shoot another awesome goal will be the 15th of the month. Let's do it. Let's just go. Man, let me tell y'all. Y'all know we are raw. We deal with the true straight. Talk. We Hey, thank you, brother Brian. We straight up here. Y'all seen me have to stop. And deal with some of these, the grossness of the direct distortions. Y'all seen it. We've had to take two, three hours at times to come on here and bear witness to the world as a unit, as a group, as a body, as the Kahal. Y'all seen us do, y'all seen us do it together. Y'all seen it. Well, we have to come on and we have to go, hey, this is so gross. These 400,000 errors that are in every one of the English and non-original, not, I'm telling y'all, non-original Barit Hadashes. This is Barit Hadash. That's the New Testament. Every one of them have hundreds of thousands of errors that have got them to be their translations. Are y'all understand what I'm saying? 
hundreds of thousands, 400,000 when you combine all of the approximately 6,000 majority texts. 6,000. Thank you, Brother Daniel Bacote. One of our strongest supporters. Him, him and Brother Robert Palzik, they don't play. I'm telling you right now, there are there are diamond members. Some of y'all got a chance. Y'all, some of y'all go hit diamond. Y'all got a shot now that we say, hey. Woo! <laughs> y'all got a shot. 4:30, April 30th. So y'all gonna have to. Y'all pray for your brother, because I'm telling you, even like yesterday, Lena will tell you, I completely, it was Shabbat, and I was sleeping off and on all day. I mixed in some translating. Y'all saw me go blazing for two hours on the Shabbat. When I was done, Sister Cheryl, yesterday, Brother Jermaine, Emily, Sister Emily, Brother Richard, when I was done, I'm telling y'all right now, I passed out. Lena and Kyle will tell you, I was out. And Lena came in and she she looked, she had to change my shirt. She said, you are sweating. You, you are gushing with sweat. You are sitting. And we had to, we had to, windows open on certain parts of the room. We went in the room. She put the AC on in there. And she said, I was drenched sweating. We have doctors within our Promote the Truth Yahoo community. We have naturopathic, homeopathic, and osteopath, osteopathic doctors that work very close with me. And we're going to have them lay out health programs within the Promote the Truth Yahoo community. They work very close with me. And they are right now, they're monitoring me very close. They took me through a parasite cleanse in the middle of this for some reason. They said that it was going to kind of knock me hard for a few weeks, but then I would get a big boost in my immune system. So I know I was doing some detoxing yesterday too. We're going to teach you all about that during our incredible, uh, we got an incredible summit that we're going to do. What are we calling that, Lena, that we're going to be doing that's going to be coming up in the in ne uh, next month? We're going to cover all six phases. We're going to bring some of our awesome naturopathic doctors in. Y'all going to love it. Like Kai is nine years old, never had and never, never had any foreign type of substances like drugs or pharmaceuticals or vaccinations, ever, never, he's nine years old, they try to give him all them shots to the, to the babies they give in the hospitals, hey, when Lena had Kai, I was the only dad in that little unit where they take all the babies, there's about 20 babies in there, I told him, I said, I'm not letting my baby go in there without me. They went, well, you know, sir, we don't know. I said, I'm going to tell y'all right now. It ain't happening. Either y'all going to have to do what y'all do over in our room or I'm coming in there. There's no vaccinations going in my child at all. It's not happening. Yeah, but we got to do these, these uh, K shots and boost them up. I said, no, no, no. We follow Yahuwah. The only reason you're doing those K shots because when you go ahead and do, y'all want to go ahead and do the circumcision right now, he's not getting circumcised till the eighth day. We had another naturopathic doctor that did his circumcision per the scriptures on the eighth day. I stayed in that room. So yeah, we're going to have our virtual retreat called Renewed sometime probably mid next month. So we're giving y'all real talk. Happy new moon day, everybody. But my son didn't get none of that. Now, he's had to go through colds. He's had to go through flus, all this stuff that people get in the world. But our doctors, they give us very pointed naturopathic remedies to deal with it. And that's what we've done. And he's not, never been in the hospital. Never. 
Hey, I don't know what made me come up with that for a witness. I'm just giving you our testimony. Never had to go to no emergency room. Never had to be in no hospital. None of that. Because Yahuwah has built us to live to 120. And he's given us everything that we need. Natural, plants, herbs. He's given it to us for our longevity. Now that's the truth. So a new moon day, which is the new month, gives us an opportunity to look back and reflect on the prior month. So I say hallelujah because in the prior month, we went through the first three festivals of Yahuwah. Then we fam. We went through the first three festivals together, many of us. Yes, we did. So I, when you look back on the prior month, you can be thankful. You can be appreciative. You can go, hey, Yahuwah, this is what you did. You allowed us to be obedient to you. Many of us here. Probably the most people united together in, within our community. Go in the Telegram group. Hey, pttgram.com. If you're not in our Telegram group, go to pttgram.com. Hey, you got to go. And then just start scrolling. And you will see all the testimonies of all the people that were obedient, that were observing the Pesaha. You can see them putting their Pesaha lamp and the bitter herbs and the unleavened bread. And you can see the kids, the babies, the kids that we're raising up in Yahuwah. You can see them participating, making unleavened, unleavened bread with the kids. The kids learning that. The kids excited. Y'all think your kids are all excited about pagan Christmas and pagan Easter. Your kids and their spirit hate them holidays. You shoving it down their throat. You want to know why? Because they're innocent. And, and they love the truth. But you're the ones that is pushing in their flesh to bring sin into their life. And you got to stop doing it now. In the name of Yahuwah and for the protection of all the children, Yahuwah give the parents the strength to stop putting their children in Satan's den. When y'all send them into them schools, And them schools don't represent, tell me a school out there that represents Yahuwah. Huh? When y'all do that, you send them into Satan's den. So we look over the past month and we're clear. Yahuwah has blessed us. He's, he's favored us, honored us in a big way. So what we're doing is we're thanking him for a new month, the second real month. And as we get up, we're going to have another festival coming up soon. We're going to have the Shabbat. People call it the pagan name Pentecost. Nope. We're going to have another one. Get ready. I got news on that one too. Soon. All right. So now watch. How do we know it's new moon? How do we know it's new moon day? Yesterday in the entire world. Now NASA will fool you. I'm telling you, modern technology, NASA are all set up to trick you into thinking that the darkest moon is the new moon. You got some other false teachings that teach that the full moon is the new moon, which is a false teaching because Yahuwah did not bring the children of Yisrael out of Matzer, that's Egypt, in the middle of darkness. So if you go for the full moon is the new moon, I hate to tell y'all, some of y'all, I got love for you, but you got to come out of that because you cannot keep the festivals. Yahuwah brought them out on the 14th day of the first new moon of the month. He brought them out in the middle of the night going into the 15th day. That's what he did. When they, uh, if you look at keeping the new moon, the first slither of light after the darkest moon, which is yesterday on the Shabbat. So the, so the darkest moon on the Shabbat, 
the people that keep the full moon as the new moon, you now would have to say that yesterday is when he brought them out. Because he said, bring them out on the 14th day of the new moon. So if you go by the full moon, that was a couple weeks ago. So then you would have had to have them come out in complete pitch. Almost, it's very dark, I should say. Very dark. Yahuwah brought him out within a full moon, full light. Use the common sense in that. Yahuwah brought him out in full light of the night. Does that make sense? So the 14th day of the first month of the year, you celebrate the Pesach. On the 15th day, it will be a full moon. And it will also be the Shabbat every time. There's no time on the real calendar that the 15th day of the real month. Get out of your brain, Gregorian calendar. Some of y'all so hooked on Pope Gregory. Do you know all of you that keep the Shabbat from Friday evening to Saturday evening, you are worshiping a pope? Did y'all know that? That calendar that you see on your phones, that they sell in the stores, that is from the Roman Catholic Pope Gregory driven. That is that's their calendar. And they hate you that are true believers. And so when I see people of Yahuwah say there's been a continual seven day cycle from creation and it's been kept together, I say, you're making yourself look bad, man. Come on now. There's been umpteen calendars. You had the Julian calendar before the Gregorian calendar. Some of these calendars kept eight day weeks. Some of them kept 10 day weeks. It's all over the place. How are you going to say it's been kept intact? And then guess who they'll go quote? The people that will, I'm going to tell you, my hey, I, I want to call you my brothers and sisters, but I got to watch you. You calling on the name of Yahuwah, yet when I, when I ask any of you, or you talk to me, and I go, why? And they go, no, no, that's been kept intact. I say, why? They go to the Jews. It's over then. They say that the ones that are in Israel who call themselves Yahudim, but are not, but are actually from the house of Satan per the scriptures. How do we know that? Because they don't like, they hate Yahusha when he was here. They hate him. They killed him. They murdered him. What y'all talking about? You want to depend on those people for calendation? No, we don't have to do that. We got to look at the first new moon. So of the year, we know how to look at the sun and how it rotates. We figured it out. We've been doing this for 17 years. You can't come to us as if we just sitting here playing around. Before you even thought about, thought about, even think about, thought about Yahuwah. We've been, we've been following Yahuwah for 17 years. We've been keeping the calendar as close as possible for many of those years. And then we dialed it in just a few years ago. We got it. Bing! We zeroed in. Every time Yahuwah was giving us light and it was in front of our face the whole time. But guess what? We were having to tear out of that nonsense ourselves. We were just tearing out of all the shred. You want to know why? People want to give credibility to the Greek translations and to Judaism that follows the Talmud. People think when they come into being into the Hebrew way, the Abari way, they think it's cool to get into the Talmud type teaching. And it's nonsense. They hate Yahuwah Mashiach. They hate him. They don't want you to say Yahuwah's name. So they hate him too. So we don't deal with that. Shamut chapter. Come on, let's go to Shamut. 
This ain't even hard. Chapter 12. Real quick for the new people. So y'all can quit following a lie. Shemut chapter 12. And Yahoo verse 1 and 2 tells you right now how to keep the calendar. You don't have to guess. Exodus, Shamut. Exodus is Shamut. Chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. And Yahuwah spoke. Thank you, Jeanette. And Yahuwah spoke to Masha and Aaron in the land of Matsrim. I'm sorry, in the land of Matsar. That's singular. That's Egypt. In the land of Matsar, saying, This new moon is the beginning of months for you. It is the first new moon of the year for you. There you go. You just got to figure out what is the first new moon. Once you figure that out, you got it. And all you got to do is utilize the sun and its rotation. Go over to promotethetruth.com, hover over appointed times, click on Yahoo's calendar, read the page. We made it very simple for you to understand. Now we do that. We keep, we, not just the moon, we watch the sun to tell us when the new year is going to start. So we know that the first new moon after the, the spring equinox, we know, we know it. We know, no, 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 know it. That that first new moon per the scriptures is going to start the, 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 the new year. We know it. We know it. So we identify it. And then we put it on the Gregorian calendar for you. So you don't have to guess. So if you go to our site, bam, you got it. Just go to promotethetruth.com. Lena, please put the link up. I'll put the link up too. Matter of fact, I'll put the link in the chat. I don't want anybody to guess. People say, do y'all know we get, I'm telling you right now, we get that question just about as much as we get about what's the right scripture to use. People trying to figure out the calendar. It ain't hard. Bam, there it is in the chat. Just click on it. So we just figured out one of the one of the east most points in the world. And then what we figured out is how to keep the whole world on the same exact page with all Shabbats, all new moons, all appointed times. We did. We think it's the only calendar in the world that does it. We think it's the only one. So we use that new moon as the new month because it tells us in Barashit Genesis chapter 1, verse 14, it tells us that the two great lights, the sun and the moon, that all people were staring at yesterday on the eclipse, people were staring at it as a wonder. They were like, they were like, whoa, people, <laughs> so many people. Hey, Jeanette became a bronze member for the YouTube channel. Way to go, Jeanette. So many people were so caught up in going, look at this spectacle. They sold so many glasses, millions and millions and millions of dollars worth of glasses. They sold so much food. Oh, they broke the Shabbat like crazy yesterday. Billions of people broke the Shabbat yesterday. Didn't care nothing about Yahuwah. You want to know why? They did not read what Barashit said about how to keep time. It says there's two great lights that were created. And the first part of the great, the first reason for the great lights is for signs. The first sign is talked about in Exodus, Shamut, chapter 31, verse 12 and 13. Read it. Yahuwah tells you this will be a sign. The Shabbat's going to be a sign for me and my people forever. So if you say you are Yahuwah's people, If you say you are Yahuwah's people, if that's you, you're saying you're one of, how many of you believe you're Yahuwah's people? Then you have to keep his sign, which is a Shabbat. So if you willingly and knowingly go to work and make money or buy items and have other people make money on the Shabbat, you broke the fourth commandment. He says, if you break one, you broke them all. He's going to throw you in the lake of fire. No excuse. If you say, I need my job, he going to say, no, you need me first. Then I'll give you the right job. Because if you are in a job to where you can't observe the Shabbat, this ain't even a question. You're in the wrong job. See, people come all the time and say, well, you know, what am I supposed to do? You're supposed to follow Yahuwah. That's it. 
That's it. Simple. If you have a job or a marriage or a relationship or a situationship to where you can't follow Yahuwah, he's already answered your prayer and told you you're in the wrong spot with the wrong person in the wrong place. He don't have to, he's not going to come and, and understand you and massage his command. They're commandments, not suggestions. They're not a suggestion. And the only reason you're worried about your job is because you don't trust Yahuwah. Say it. Put your chest out when you say it. Just tell Yahuwah you don't trust him to take care of you. That's it. That's all. Anybody that sends us messages going, y'all don't understand. Yes, we do. We understand that the commandments are not a suggestion. And we're not going to get caught telling you the wrong thing and have Yahuwah throw us in the lake. Nope. Uh -uh. Ran in the building. That's super. Come on. So I'm going in. I ain't even went in yet. <laughs> so it tells you that the sun and the moon are for signs. And most people miss what the sign is. It's the Shabbat. It's other signs. But that's the number one sign for you to keep the Shabbat. Number two, it says it's for appointed times. Yahuwah has seven appointed times plus his new moon days plus his Shabbat. So you're going to have 12 or 13 new moons every year. People say 13. Yes, depending on how that sun's rotating. Who told you that a year has got to be 12 months? Who told you that? Oh, I know who told you that. The Roman Catholic Church told you that. It told you, and the school that you went to, that you're sending your kids to, they are telling you that. Yahuwah don't roll like that. Get that in your whole skull. He don't roll like this. This continual thing you think is... Nope. He wants you to look up at that sun and that moon and pay attention to how they tell you to keep time. That's it. Why do we know that? In the first book of the entire scriptures, verse one, I mean, chapter one, verse 14, he says this for signs, appointed times. Guess what today is? It's one of them appointed times. It's called new moon. How do we know the new moon is appointed time? Yeshi Yahoo, chapter 66, verse 33. I mean, 23. I'm going to read it to you. I'm going over to Isaiah, Yeshayahu, chapter 66, verse 23. Wait a minute. I'm going to do verse 22. So that way you don't have to guess at all. Verse 22 of Isaiah 66, 22. For as the new heavens and the new earth that I make stand before me. So Yahuwah said there's going to be a new heaven and there's going to be a new earth. Y'all got that? All right. Declares Yahuwah. So shall your name stand. Now he says, everybody that comes into agreement with me. Daniel Bacote, two months in the building with us as a member here. Everybody, he's saying, if you agree with me with what I'm about to say, I'm going to make your name stand. When he said in the new heaven and the new earth, you get to be in the new heaven and the new earth. And then he says, and it shall be in verse 23, that from one new moon to the next new moon and from one Shabbat Sabbath to the next Shabbat, all flesh will come to worship before me, declares Yahuwah. So you tell me if there's going to be new moon in the new heavens and the new earth. Yes. He just said it. He says, declares Yahuwah. That's what's amazing. It says, declares Yahuwah. It's kind of like he's shouting it. He going, do you understand what I'm saying? We're going to always do the new moon. Your preacher, them pastors, they hate this. They don't like it at all. <clears throat> they don't hear nothing about no new moons. You want to know why? Because they worship the sun. 
rather than obey the sign of the sun, they worship the sun. Because they hold their worship service on the pagan calendar that literally is named Sunday. Dias Solus Invictus. They worship the sun. Look at all the Catholic stuff. Every time you got something that's a Catholic picture, behind it is the sun. Y'all ain't picked that up? Go get something that's Catholic. He's got a picture. There's going to be a sun behind it because they worship Nimrod, who is Satan. And then you got people that say, oh, you pagans worshiping on Sunday. Saturn's day is really the Shabbat. Thank you, Brother Daniel, for that super. They call Saturn's Day. Saturday stands for the worship of Saturn. What in the heck? So you got people worshiping the sun, and you got people worshiping the planet Saturn. And the Saturn people are telling the sun people that they're pagans. <laughs> this is nonsense. Then you got the quote people that say they're Yahudim but are not. They say, no, 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 no. You got to start the Shabbat on Friga Day. Y'all know what Friday is? It's the goddess Friga. Y'all know what Friga is? Freak. Y'all heard that? Y'all ever heard what a freak is? The prostitution, the orgies. That God and goddess. Free good day. We're going to freak. We're going to start the Shabbat and we're going to freak. We're going to get our freak on. This is crazy. We're going to start it in the night when Yahuwah said, observe and remember the Shabbat day. No, no, no. We ain't going to listen to Yahuwah. No. Nope. We're going to do it during the night. We're going to start it and observe it in the night. <laughs> Friga. So they got Friga, pagan guy. They got it two times. They worshiping the Shabbat on Friga day and Saturn's day. They got two. And they're pointing at everybody else calling them pagan. They're telling all the sun worship people that no, y'all don't understand. We got Friga and Saturn that we worship on. <laughs> yes, TGI, TGIF. Thank God it's Friga. Listen to that one, TGIF. God and Friga. Two pages in one sentence. I'm good. All right, I done dealt with that. So y'all should understand. That's why we do New Moon Day. Because we don't give a damn about no Friga, about no Saturn. Uh, and uh, Not to worship. Shout out for Yahuwah's creations. No, no, no. We give respect. We ain't worshiping no Friga. We ain't worshiping no Saturn. And we're not worshiping the sun that he created. We worshiping the creator. That's who we worship. We ain't doing none of that. And the way we stop from doing that is New Moon Day. See, once we do New Moon Day, we are, we listen, let me tell y'all something. You then immediately become set apart. Go ahead. Worship Yahuwah the way he wants to be worshipped. Say, I'm going to observe New Moon Day. What does that mean? I'm not working. Like today, I'm not working. I'm doing Yahuwah's work. I'm doing his worship by handling his stuff. I'm not working in the world and business. I'm not making no money. And I ain't buying up from somebody else to make him some money. So if you went out today and you spent some money, you just broke New Moon Day. I'll make sure you get it straight. If you didn't know no better, repent. Immediately. If you knew better and still did it, 
then you stop. You're done. Don't even talk to Yahoo about it. Go on and get into this world. If you know it and you do it and you know that you ain't supposed to do it, don't come in here. This ain't no church where you can come in here and ask for forgiveness. No. The scripture says if you know it and you go ahead and do it anyway, you're going in the lake. Nothing we can do for you. Sorry. I believe the scriptures. I'm not going here to pacify you and go, oh, man, I hope you. No. If I stand with Yahuwah. Yahuwah says he hates unrighteousness. <laughs> Hell is, I don't know. If you don't, if you didn't know, or you're trying to get it straight, all right, everybody, this is your chance. No homeschool. No. That's your kids working. Ebony. Kai, he homeschools. Not on New Moon Day. Not on the Shabbat. Nope. Not at all. Don't buy nothing. Don't sell nothing. I'm telling you, don't do it. Yahuwah will tear you up. I'm just telling you the truth. Why do you think they was all complaining, trying to go into the gates of the city? And it was New Moon Day. They said, man, we can't wait for New Moon and the Shabbat to be over with so we can buy and sell. You can cook, Robert. Yep. The new moon is like a high Shabbat. A high Shabbat. They call a high Sabbath. Those are the appointed times. Every appointed time of Yahuwah, you can cook. Because they're a feast. A new moon is like a celebration. So you can cook. Can't work. Everybody clear on that? All right. <laughs> The reaction is always funny. People are gonna send us messages, man. I didn't, don't even don't send us no messages. Some of y'all send messages in just to be talking about this and that. We do not have time for that. I'm just telling you right now. We're appointed to do a certain work for Yahuwah. We are messengers to get words out. We literally do not have time. Just for conversational stuff back and forth. We have zero time for it. That's not our that's not our calling and promote the truth. We're building out the kahal. There will be times where there will be parts of it. Not now. We busy. I get the word out and we got to get our production. We got to get our marketing. We got to get the spread. And y'all been watching it happen. Y'all been, been seeing it. So that's what we do. So if y'all send us a bunch of messages and y'all don't hear back from us, we just telling you. We try to answer what we can. But if y'all don't hear back from us, do not take it personal. Y'all should be clapping. And saying we got to keep them doing what they do. Y'all see the work we put out. Don't get offended when you see all the work we're doing in the kingdom. Be like, man, they working. You see it every day. You see videos coming out every day. You see production. You see writings. You see art. You see it coming out. That's us working. Jody said, I have a small farm and animals need feeding. Let them in. Put them away. So it works. I'm so, it's easy. They had all the animals too. That's why it says, Jody, remember the Shabbat day. Remember the new moon day, not night. When that sun completely sets, that's what they used to do. They had animals. Soon as that sun completely set. So the day before, I even watched my granddad do it. He didn't know what he was doing. When he was all up in that Sunday service, he gave them a double amount on, quote, Saturday. So that he can go to church on Sunday. With the same premises, if you got animals, give them a little extra. Then go check on them after the sun completely sets. Now day, that means not, not sunset. That means dusk. Dusk is different than sunset. Sunset, there's still light. You're still in the day if there's light. Y'all got that? Y'all got that? When that sun completely sets, that's called dusk. When there's no light, that means that Sabbath day or that new moon day or that festival day is over at that time. Y'all got that? It's over. Go back in your life. Go buy, sell. Go party. Do what you want to do in the name of Yahuwah. Have a great time. All right. I took a little extra time to teach y'all that. Let's go. What's the topic? 
The real Acts chapter four. The power of being one in Yahoo. Y'all ready to go in? Huh? Huh? Yeah, Jody, just put them up. Have them chill. You got an emergency? A, do a ox goes in the ditch? Yahoo says, go help them. But if it ain't an emergency, leave it alone. Yahoo is going to protect you. Put some fire emojis in the chat if y'all want the real Acts chapter 4. Put some fire emojis in the chat. Let's get the algorithm popping. Y'all saw the numbers keep jumping up. When y'all get the fire emojis going, we get the interaction happening. More people. Hit the share button. Daniel Bacote with, a, with an awesome super. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's do it. We're going to get the real Mahashim. Mahashim, the, that's, that's the real name for Acts, family. Chapter four, I'm doing back to back. So if y'all want chapter three, that was blazing. Just watch the live from yesterday. But I couldn't help but just come to four. I never do that back to back. I have to do it this time. I got to do it. I'm going to read. While Kappa, Peter, and Yahoo Hanan were speaking to the people, the priest, the captain of the Akia, Ahikal, that's the temple, and the Zadakim, that's the Sadducees, came and confronted them. They were highly upset because you remember they just healed. This 40 plus year old man. Yeah. They, they just healed a 40 plus year old man. All the people seeing this miracle. Everybody's tore up. Everybody sees the power of Yahuwah right in front of their face. But you got these Pharisees, Sadducees. Right? You got these temple people. Pastors. <laughs> scholars, theologians, they tore up. They came and confronted them. Verse two, they were highly upset that the emissaries were teaching the people and proclaiming that the dead would be resurrected because of Yahuwah Mashiach. They were teaching that people were going to be resurrected back into the name of Yahuwah Mashiach when he returns. Verse three, they seized them. That means they arrested them and put them in prison. The heck? Until the next day, because it was already evening at that time. Verse four, but many who heard the word of Alua that they were preaching, they believed. And the number of believers grew from 3,000 to about 5,000 people. The number of believers grew to 5,000 families. Because people watching this, these miracles. The next day, the rulers, elders, and the scribes gathered together in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Hanan, the high priest, was there. Along with Kippa, the Saifas. I'm giving you the real names. Kippa. Another Yahoo Hanan. Alexander. Alexander and other relatives of the high priest. They all came together. They had Kappa and Yahuhanan brought before them and said, quote, by what power and authority, now watch this next part, fam, or in what name did you do this? See, these people are legal smart. They know the Tanakh. They try to set them up. They trying to set them up. They said by what authority, what power, what authority, or in what name did you do this? That healing. Then Kappa. Y'all ready to go up? We get ready to go up. <laughs> we get ready to go up. Then Kappa, fill with the set apart spirit. Woo! Come on. Answer them and said, leaders of the people. And elders, he showed them respect. Sirs, right? Leaders of the people and the elders. Are we being examined today because of something good that was done for a sick man? A good deed that healed him? They wanted to know, are y'all going to examine and question us because this sick man got healed? All these people listening. 
If so, then you and all the people of Israel need to know that this man stands here healthy and healed because the name of Yahuwah Mashiach of Nazareth, whom you impaled, you killed him. But Alua raised him back from the dead. They weren't pulling no punches. Why y'all pull punches? Did this sound like copper? And Yahuwah were pulling any punches. Oh, no. They said, are you here examining us? Because we this man that was crippled got healed? You can imagine standing there for a second and them looking at him. And so by, when they're sitting there looking at him, Coppa said, now hold on here. If you are examining us for this reason, then let us tell you and all the people of Israel, you need to know that this man stands here healed. And guess what? Remember they said, what names you do this in? Because of the name of Yahuwah Mashiach. So now you know they're going, they just committed blasphemy. We can kill them. They knew it. Whom you impaled. But Elua brought him back from the dead. Verse 11. This Yahuwah Mashiach is the stone which you builders rejected. But now he has become, now he has become the cornerstone. Salvation. Y'all done heard this all your life. Y'all done heard Acts chapter 4, verse 12 all your life. But you've been calling in the wrong name. That's why you can't get no real breakthroughs. If you do get some breakthroughs, it's because you don't love the truth and Yahuwah has sent you a delusion so he can have you believe that lie and have you killed and thrown in the lake. That's what's going on. People go, I got some miracles in the name of Jesus. No, you didn't. You got fooled in that name so you can get thrown in the lake because you don't love Yahuwah. You don't love the truth. Here you go. <laughs> Verse 12. Hold on, I got to back up to 11. This Yahuwah Mashiach, so he said the name. They asked him, in what name did you do this? He, he now tells them I did it in Yahuwah Mashiach's name. Then he comes down and says, this Yahuwah Mashiach is the stone which you builders rejected, and now he has become the cornerstone. Salvation can be found in no other name. What name? They just told you what name. Why are y'all running off to Yahushua then? People start running. All the people that's coming out of Christianity, they, for some reason, you know the reason, they get hooked on the name Yahushua. Like that name's got the power. Yahushua ain't here no more. See, if that was the name, you get some, Jesus not even in the conversation. That's a pagan. That's a sun god. Jesus, Hell Zeus. We're not even talking about Jesus. We're not talking about G-O-D. We're not talking about Lord. They asked him specifically, what name did you do this healing in? He told them. Oh, yeah, just look at the real scriptures. Look at the Peshitta. He just told them. He said, salvation can be found in no other name. For there is no other name under heaven. Listen, most people, they translate that given to men. That's not true. That's not right. Salvation can be found in no other name. For there is no other name under heaven that is recognized by humans. By which we must be saved by. Which we must be saved by. That's recognized by humans. She's not given. When, they, when you put that word given there, you're trying to pin the name down to Yahusha, and salvation can't be found in the name of Yahusha. Can't. It's impossible. Scriptures will lie on themselves. So what they are saying, Kappa, Yahuhanan, they're saying that salvation only comes in one name. What's that name? Put it in the chat. Verse 12 of Mahashim of Acts 12. When it says salvation can be found in no other name. What is the no other name? That's what I want to know from everybody. Does anybody know what the no other name is? So Socia got it. 
So Saya got it. Y'all what? <laughs> Daniel's got it. He knows this is the most important work. Woo! Come on, Daniel Bacote says, stop looking for another savior. There's only one savior. All you new people, look at the chat. Yeah. Come on. Yahuwah. We got to decide, are there two names or not? See, once we bring people into the truth, some of y'all done come to know for a fact you know that the name Jesus is pagan. God and Lord are all from the pit of hell. Everybody knows those three names are awful. They're scum. They're the scum of the earth names. I used to call on them names. And guess what? I'm ashamed that I called on those names. But I was relieved of my shame. By calling on the name above all names. What is that name? Yeah. How come? Why didn't Kappa say it? All you who are hooked on these other names. Why didn't he say when they asked him? By what authority did you do this in? In what name? They see they said it specifically. In what name did you do this? He immediately said. He didn't even, he wasted no time. He said, if y'all are examining us because we healed somebody, he asked him, is that what's going on here? And then after he asked them, they says, if y'all are examining us, okay, we're going to tell you and everybody. And who does that include? All of you that's watching this video, this live stream, what Kappa said here with Yahoo Han is standing with them. They're saying to you right now. They're saying it to you. See, most people look and start pointing fingers. But I see too many of you come into the name of Yahuwah and then immediately say the Savior is Yahusha. Well, Yahusha is Yahuwah. <laughs> but I got to get that clear because you're going to go in the lake of fire. Is that, cra is that crazy? See, hardly anybody's bold enough to say it. I know a fact. If you believe that Yahushua, the name of Yahushua, is your salvation, is your sa you're going in the lake because you missed what he said. In Yahuwah 8.24, he said, for unless you believe that Aya Asha Aya, he spoke those Hebrew words, the ayah in, in Aramaic. Unless you believe ana, ana, that I am that I am, the living Alua, unless you believe that, you will die in your sins. Now, if you die in your sins, where are you going? Into the lake of fire. You can't die in your sins and get eternal life. He told you in Yahuhan in chapter 8, that's John 8, 24. Unless you believe that I am that I am, the living Alua, you shall die in your sins. So when they ask, Kappa's not confused. Yahuhan is not confused. The apostles, the emissary, none of them were confused. They knew the assignment. The assignment was have this child have Yahuwah, this is the crazy part. Y'all ready? Look, Frank told y'all the truth. Frank Giortano said, we are all back in school and learning the truth for the first time in our lives. I, Brother Frank, I'm putting that up. I'll put that on the screen. Y'all read what Brother Frank said. We are all back in school and learning the truth for the first time. He told the truth to all of y'all. Y'all better give a shout out. Brother Frank told y'all the truth. You got you to gotta stop being hooked on the Greek. The Greek teaches you that the human name of the person, so Yahuwah, he did this. I'm going to say this very clear again. I'm going to keep pounding it till we got 144 people that you can't move them to the left or to the right on this subject. 
We just need 144. Then we'll get to the 144,000. But we need 144 of y'all that believes Yahuwah for real, for real. He said, I'm coming as Emmanuel. True or false? Yes. He said he would come and he would be called Emmanuel. Not his name. It says they shall call him. What does the Hebrew word Emmanuel mean? Emmanuel. What does it mean? It means that the living Alua lives among us, with us. Y'all got that? Y'all got that? It says that the living, breathing Alua lives with us. Every Christian admits that. Everybody that calls on the name of Yahuwah, they believe that. But when you slow it down and you say, let me make sure you understand what that means. Let me make sure you understand what that means. That means that Yahuwah himself, he did. He came as the son. For whatever reason, he positioned himself as the son. Why? How? How? Is there some trinity or something? We don't give no damn about no trinity. I don't care at all. What are y'all talking about? Daniel Bacote, some more kingdom business. We don't care nothing about no trinities, no trilogies, no quadruples. I don't care. I'm telling you, the scripture says that Yahuwah himself would come on the earth as a human being. Can you handle that truth? If you can't say, I believe the first chapter of Matthew, Matthew, and then deny that he shall be called Emmanuel. Oh, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. You're saying there's two Allahim. That's what you're saying. Y'all know that's what people are saying. People are saying there's two. They're saying that the father is an Allah, is an Alua, and that the son is an Alua. And if you got two, that makes them Allahim. That's why they put the word Elohim in the scriptures. That's a paganistic viewpoint of Yahuwah. That ain't the truth. Because he even told us, my father and I are one. You can't separate us. As much as y'all want to, and we know y'all are hooked on multiple acts of idolatry. Come on, Salinthia, with that super. My sister. But yeah, people hooked on idolatry, for real. Why is it difficult to understand that you read the scripture that said Emmanuel is going to be here? That means the living Alua, the mighty one, pagan word God, lives with us. Who is it that came and lived with us? It said that he would be born. <laughs> it says a child is born. Am I telling the truth or not? Okay. It said a child is born and shall be called Emmanuel. Do we have to go like slow, slow? Yes. Because people are hooked on an earthly name. Sylvia, Emmanuel means a Lua's living with us. And he came as a what? Child. I don't know what else to say. He came as a child. A human being as a little baby. Sitting there, born to Maureen and Yusuf, was a little baby. And the little baby was born to parents who understood Queen Nelson in the building. That's super. 
He was born to parents who knew that it was illegal, considered blasphemy for anybody to even say the name Yahuwah, let alone name their child Yahuwah. So people get so disconnected by that. And I want to bring you to understand it. it they could not, based upon how Yahuwah set this world up, how he set up the restoration of things. He's working through humans. On earth, he's working through humans. So he's working through the human ways to reestablish his kingdom. I don't know why he's doing that. And you don't have, know it either. That's right, Diana. Throw it out. All this other stuff y'all learned, just throw it in the trash. You have a breakthrough. You'll be able to get miracles. You'll be able to raise the dead once you understand this. Sickness and disease going to leave everybody that fully comes into agreement with who Yahusha is. As soon as y'all come into agreement with who Yahusha is, you got it. He said that I'm. he going to come as a, a child is born. So right there in Mahashim in Acts chapter 4, verse 11, when he said, this Yahuwah Mashiach. Now they're scratching their ears when they hear him say that. They're going, man, he done said the name. We got to kill him. The reason that they couldn't kill him right there is because there was 5,000 people. You see, there's that power in them numbers. There was 5,000 people going, this is off the hook. Yahuwah doing his thing. The people getting up. They, the priests, they don't know what to do. Yeah, they, it's blasphemy being committed everywhere. We can't do nothing about it. He said, this Yahuwah Mashiach is the stone which you build is rejected, but now he has become the cornerstone. Salvation can be found in no other name, for there is no other name under these heavens that is recognized by humans, which we must be saved by. What is that name? Wait a minute. Go to Zechariah, chapter 12. Zechariah, that pagan name. Let's go to chapter 12, verse 10. Y'all see, I had to stop. We had to stop on this new moon day. And I had to deal with this yesterday, but the Spirit's telling me, you, it ain't over. Get 144 who's rolling with you. Just like Brother Frank said, we all going back to school learning the truth for the first time in our lives. Tell them, Brother Frank. Zechariah, 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 chapter 12, verse 10. And I shall pour out on the house of Dewey, David, and on the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and the, a spirit of favor and prayers, and they shall look on me whom they pierced, and they shall mourn for him. So notice he said me, and then he said him. I'm going to say it one more time. And they shall look on me whom they pierced. And they shall mourn for him as one mourns for his only son. Y'all think that's a mistake? He said what he's saying? Who's the only son? Yahuwah Mashiach. Who was on the stake? Yahuwah. What name did he give himself when they put him on earth and on the stake? Yahusha. Why did they pick the name Yahusha? Because Yahusha literally means Yahuwah saves. Yahusha don't mean Yahusha saves. Wouldn't it say Yahusha Shah? <laughs> it would say Yahusha Shah. It don't say Yahusha Shah. That's the first time that came to my spirit. Does it say in the name of Yahusha Shah, you will be saved? 
That would be Yahusha saves. Is that is that what? Yahusha shot. No. It says, yeah, he came in the name of his name was Yahusha. Yahusha literally means it tells you who only salvation comes through. Only salvation comes through Yahuwah. So why are people saying they're saved by Yahusha? Huh? Why? That's it. Then they kick out the troll. Tell the team. We got her. Pew! Look at them trolls. Y'all see that? They try to come in and mess up Yahoo's word. That's no problem. You out. Look how easy that is. Click, click. Watch. Pay attention. <laughs> Pamela got him. <laughs> Pamela's a sniper. Pew! I'm telling y'all, Yahoo saves. Because who is it in Zechariah? Zechariah 12.10, when he says in Jerusalem, right? Right around where they killed him. I'm going to pour out a spirit of favor and prayers. Y'all missed that part? The only way. That's the only way. Man, you got, it might be another troll. Grab him. The, <laughs> the only way. Y'all got to listen. The only way you can get salvation is if Yahuwah came and did what he did. That's why he says, I'm going to give him a, I'm going to do you a favor and answer your prayers. You were separated from me. Now I'm going to come myself. You're going to look at me whom you pierced, what he says. Right? And it says, and then you're going to mourn for him. That's the Yahusha that got pierced. But it, who is Yahusha? It's Yahuwah. He's now connecting the two right there. He's telling you what's going on. Only those that have a spirit of Yahuwah that are his sheep can understand what I'm saying. Y'all got? Do y'all understand what I'm saying? Who bears witness? Who sees it? Who sees it? Simple. Hallelujah. <laughs> Here I go again. I got to get back into scriptures because I think we've established when it says, and there is no other name. Salvation can be found in no other name, not person, not title, no other name. So that's the only way you can get salvation is through one particular name. No variation of the name. No description of the name. See, Yahusha is only a description of the name. But it describes who you better call on. That's what Yahusha does. So you better call on that name. What name? The Yahoo part of my name. Yahoo what? Ah. Uh, you better put the ah uh in there. Verse 13. Now the council was taken by surprise by the confidence and boldness that Kappa and Yahuhanan spoke with. They thought that these men were uneducated. Thank you, Rush, Sister Rush. They thought that these men were, un, were uneducated and ignorant. They also recognized that they were followers of Yahushua who they had and had been with him. You see? So they all, oh, that guy, Yahushua, that was walking around here, they were with him. We recognized they were with him. And the ones that were with Yahushua, they just told us that Yahuwah Mashiach is the one who did this miracle. They putting it together. Hold on. 14. However, since the healed man was standing with Kappa and Yahuhanan right before their own eyes, they could not say anything to refute them. 
Y'all understand what's going to happen when 144 of us get together? The earth ain't going to have no clue what to do with us. It's going to be a time of refreshing. We're going to laugh. We're going to go through some hard stuff. Make no mistake. We're going to get persecuted. But we're going to laugh like we never laughed before. Because there's going to be big old miracles happen. Massive. If we think that they were doing something then, now after the survival of the harshest persecution that's ever hit earth, do y'all know they believe they stamped it all out with the Council of Nicaea? Do you know they believe they stamped it all out? They have got rid of Yahuwah for sure. They didn't know that this old country boy from Kentucky who grew up on a hog farm, <laughs> who had no clue, pagan to the max, based upon the scriptures, they have no clue. I was going to call out with all I got and asked whoever the creator of this world is, don't let them kill me. Don't let my enemies kill me. Right now, my enemies are the enemies of my mind. I screamed it out. May 2007, don't let it happen. Don't let me go crazy down here on this earth. I know this ain't right. Y'all know the same thing. I knew it wasn't right. And I called out on them all I got. That's what you got to do. And next thing you know, here you show up. Where the heck y'all come from? Where'd y'all come from? I want to know where did you, those of you that are here watching, commenting, where in the world did you come from? Where'd you come from, fam? They thought they had you knocked out. You've been talked about. You've been lied on. You've been cheated on. You've been abused, some of you. Mistreated. Shamed. How come you ain't dead yet? Why are you not out of here? What in the world are you doing still breathing to where you end up finding the name? The thing that they hated to happen. Satan thought for sure he had it hooked up. What are you doing here? With all you've been through, all I have went through, how could I be standing there? And this word, this name, I saw it on a little piece of chintzy sight. I saw them letters right there. I said, what does that say? What does that mean? What? Y'all better recognize who you are. Some of you ain't even giving yourself hardly any credit for you being a walking miracle. It's amazing. Stop. Stop beating yourself up, being hard on yourself, not thinking good of yourself, not being happy deep inside. You are a walking miracle. Satan tried to kill you a gazillion times. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Some of you thought about killing yourself multiple times. I had a good friend of mine two days ago kill himself. I had a good friend in this world. I said, hey. He knew about Yahuwah. Gave up. Why did you call on the name of Yahuwah? Because you are, you are a walking miracle. You better give yourself some credit. Watch, I'm going to prove it. I'm going to prove the power of one. Watch. I'm going to use the scriptures to prove how powerful you and we together really are. Put your seatbelts on. They couldn't say anything to refute them. The, the miracle man was standing right beside him. That was crippled. After ordering them to wait outside, the council members began to speak among themselves. They said, what can we do with these men? 
Everyone in Jerusalem Shalom, knows about this miracle that they have done. And we cannot deny it and say it did not happen. But to keep this from spreading any further, we're going to order them to never again speak to anyone about the name Yahuwah Mashiach. That's what they really want you to do. Stop saying his name. <laughs> Tears up. Hey, Pamela, that's really what this is all about, Jermaine, Blake, Annette, Cheryl, Emily, William, Lisa, Lady Heather, Joe, Ebony. This is what this is really about. This is the resistance. They know the miracles are happening because you're still breathing, number one. They know the miracles are coming because they can't stop it. That's how we're going to stop this. People can feel it all over the earth. There's something different in the earth. Something's going on. Hey, Satan came against me so hard and my wife and tried to kill us. He sent the highest powers in the world, beast powers, to destroy us. You want to know why? We've been promoting the name of Yahuwah since for 17 years. You think Satan don't hate me? And mine, oh, he hates me. You think he ain't tried everything to smear me, to drag me, pull me in courtrooms, accuse I ain't did nothing to bother nobody. I'm just talking about the truth of Yahuwah. And the way I'm speaking now, I ain't never came off of it. If you talk to me personally, I tell you the truth from the gate. Yeah, we can't stop it. They got to stop saying his name though. Verse 18, so they called the two emissaries back in and told them that they must never speak about or teach in the name of Yahuwah Mashiach again. Government, rulers, bosses, what you doing? Observing New Moon Day. James Harris in the building. What you doing observing the Shabbat? Huh? When you observe New Moon Day, when you observe the Shabbat, you carry his name. When you keep the feast days, you carry his name. What you doing doing that? You're not allowed to do that. That's what they're going to tell you. How did Kappa and Yahuhanan respond though? But Kappa and Yahuhanan, verse 19, but Kappa and Yahuhanan replied to them and said, Daniel Bacote knows his key to business. They replied to him and said, do you think Alua wants us to obey you or him? Man, oh man. For all of you who can't figure out how to justify keeping and guarding the commandments, do you and you come to us and ask us to try to excuse you? Do you think we should listen to you or obey Yahuwah? <clears throat> come on, Felicia. Annette Green is in the building with a super. They literally are sitting there. In the, they are in the barrel of the beast that wants to kill them now. And they said, do you think Alua wants us to obey you or obey him? Come on, Shirley, in with that soup. <laughs> Wait a minute. They didn't stop. Y'all know what they said? We cannot help but speak about the things which we have seen and heard. The officials then threatened them further. They stood two, they stood 10 toes down. They put their chest out. They said, we can't help it. We done seen it. We done heard it. We gonna talk about it. The officials threatened them some more. But then they released them. Because the people supporting Kappa and Yahuhanan, they could not find a way to punish them. 
Everyone in the area was praising Allure for the miracle healing that had happened. We're going to get that time. We are going to see this happen. Where there's going to be a period before the great persecution that comes again. Where they're going to want to kill us. Like they're going to want to kill them two witnesses so bad. Can't touch us. There's going to be a time we're going to have it just go boom, explode. When the 144 gets together and is established. Who are you? Are you part of the 144 people that are like this? You can stare down the barrel of the beast and don't even move. Huh? Stephanie Denault came through with a $20. She said that on Venmo. Yeah, people going to find a way to support this. Came the business back in the house. Daniel Bacote. Wait a minute. The man who had had this miraculous healing happen to him was over 40 years old. Verse 22. After their release, Kappa and Yahoo Hanan returned to the brothers and sisters, the community, the call, and they reported Everything the chief priests and the elders had said and done to them. Now, here's where we come in. Let's pull together here. Everybody, come on. Come in close. Because we're going to come in just like Kappa and Yahoo Hanan. And we're going to get together with them. Here we go. Verse 24, chapter 4, Acts, Mahashim. The brothers and sisters listened to what Kappa and John Yahu Hanan, that's Yahu Hanan, reported. And after they heard them, they lifted up their voices in unison, united. And then they said together, Master Yahuwah, you are the one who created the heaven, the earth, the sea, and all that is in them. You are the one who spoke through the set-apart spirit, through our ancestor, do we, David, your servant, and said, why did the Guyin Gentiles rage and the people plot in vain? All this stuff coming against us is in vain. They can't beat Yahuwah. When you going to come to that conclusion? You were scared to die. That's the issue. You must be scared to die like it ain't going to happen. So you got to deal with death. This body ain't going to make it forever. Yeah. This body ain't going to make it. You're going to have to deal with the fact I got to get my mind set. You might have to go down to the beach and walk two or three days back and forth. You might have to go up in the mountains and take a walk. You might have to go out and camp by yourself. And everybody think, what you doing? Come on, will you? Pola. You people, what are you doing? You might go walk around your neighborhood by yourself every day for two weeks. But sometime or another, you're going to have to come to grips that, you know what? This body is going to die. It's either going to die now before he comes back. Or it's going to be dead and transformed when he comes back. This body ain't going to make it. I got to deal with this. Once I count the costs, no one goes and builds a house unless they count the costs. Once I count the costs, this body's going to change. This body's going to die. What's going to happen when this body's dead? I got to decide if I'm going to believe there's an after this body. Are you going to believe that there's an after this body experience coming? You see, I'm not afraid of what any man or woman or any government or any institution says in this world. They cannot touch me without Yahuwah's permission. That's my faith. 
If they persecute me, they will only be fighting Yahuwah. That's it. Me, I only have an assignment under the persecution. Stand. Smile. Rejoice that I've been counted worthy to suffer with Yahuwah Mashiach. That's how you're going to have to size this thing up. That's how you get to true happiness. Some of you are idolistically holding on to this body. You're worshiping this body. You take care of this body to get all you can get out of it, but you're doing it to prepare for your next body. That's how you can talk the way Kappa and Yahuwah was talking. Here you go. The kings. Why do the Guyim rage and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth took their stand and all the rulers gathered together against the master Yahuwah and Yahuwah Mashiach. Don't we understand that in the end, the entire governments, all the presidents, kings, prime ministers, the scripture says all of them are going to gather together to try to take Yahuwah out. Have y'all not read Hazum? Oh, I got to give y'all the real one soon. That's why you want to support TSNT.org. Wait till you read the crystal clear revelation, Hazum. On how it's going down. They all are coming together. That's why they, that's why not one government has Yahuwah in their system. Not one. Not one school system has Yahuwah in that system. Not one college university has Yahuwah in that university. Not one. They all coming together. Deweed said it, and it's worked out through the messenger to Yahuwah in Revelation. I ain't done. We got to get to verse 37. Yeah, we're in verse 26, and we got to get to 37. Let's go. 27. In fact, Herod, King Herod, and Punitus, Y'all remember Punitus? Pilates? Pontius Pilate. He says, in fact, Herod and Punitus Pilatus, along with the other Guyi, and unbelief, that's the Gentiles, and unbelieving Yahudim, quote Jews, did gather together in this city against your set-apart servant, Yahuwah Mashiach. They're saying what we said. It's already come true. And it's going to come true again. They try to kill Yahuwah Mashiach from the gate. Herod tried to have him killed from the beginning. Putin his pilots, he cut, guess what? Why didn't Pontius Pilate, when he said wash his hands, why did he not give him full release? Why did he say, well, have him flogged? He's guilty. What he was afraid of. And what his wife was looking at him, telling him, don't you kill that man. He done walked into it. You want to know why? He falls right into, like some of you going to fall right into Hazum. Revelation 21, 8. When it says that the cowards are the first people that's going into the lake of fire. It's the cowards, not the murderers. Not the child abusers. Oh, uh, not the witches. Not the thieves. They're going in next. The first ones going in the lake of fire are the cowards. The people that are scared. Y'all going in first. Wait a minute. <laughs> they did what you planned, verse 28. And had already determined what would happen a long time ago. 29. And now, master... This is what we're praying together. Everybody come together in unity. 
Let's go. Come on. Let's go, people of Yahoo. Are you with me? Come on. Before I say this, put some fire emojis in the chat. Because we're going to agree. This is how we're going to tear our enemies down. Right here. Mm -hmm. Fire emojis in the chat. Because we're going to do this together. Come on, brother Luya, with that super. We're going to do it together, family. I'm going to count to 10 and I'm going in. Put fire. I, I'm telling y'all. We're coming together. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, and now, verse 29, and now, Master Yahuwah, examine their threats against us and continue to let all your servants speak your word with complete boldness. Stretch out your hand and bring healing and empower us to do signs wonders, and miracles in the set-apart name of your servant, Yahuwah Mashiach. Come on! Who wants this? It's going to happen. It's happening right now. Right now it's happening. Who's in one accord with me right now? I believe that Yahuwah is going to stretch out his hand. He's going to empower his servants, us, to do signs, wonders, and miracles in the set-apart name of Yahuwah Mashiach. Woo! Guess what happened? Guess what happened, Jordan? Guess what happened, family? When they got with one accord and they prayed like this. I'm going to pray one more time. Woo! I'm going to pray it one more time. And now, Master Yahuwah, examine our enemy's threats against us, me, Jay Nolan, all my brothers and sisters that are here on the live, all my brothers and sisters that are watching the replay, that know this is the right word. Yahuwah, I'm asking, Father, that you examine the threats of any enemy that comes against us. Deal with them, Yahuwah, but allow us to continue as your servants to speak your word with complete boldness. Yahuwah, stretch out your hand and bring healing. There's people here that are sick and they call it on your name. Let them feel it right now, Yahuwah. <clears throat> Right now, heal them right now, Yahuwah. Empower us to do signs and wonders and miracles in the set-apart name of your servant, Yahuwah Mashiach. Do it, Yahuwah. And when they finish praying, verse 31, y'all ready for this? And when they finish praying, the place where they were, where they were at started shaking. Shake it up, Yahoo. This place is shaking in here. Come on, Daniel Bacote. Come on, Annette. This is shaking. This place is shaking in the name of Yahoo. Shake it up. Come on, Renee. Do it, Abba Yahoo. Yeah. Shake this place up, Yahoo. Shake up this world. Tear down, Yahoo. I know you hate all the wickedness, but you got some real ones sitting right here in your name, Father. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Y'all got to wait. <laughs> the place started shaking. They were filled with the set-apart spirit of Yahuwah. And they went out and spoke the word of Yahuwah with boldness. <laughs> I'm so happy. I got tears in my eyes. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm so happy. I got tears in my eyes. <laughs> I'm crying and laughing at the same time. <laughs> oh, <wow! laughs> I'm crying and 
laugh at the same time. Oh. Yeah, y'all who do it. Y'all who do it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> what a report. <laughs> Tell me we ain't on the front line. Shoot. <laughs> I know what I do every day. What y'all doing? I know. Your brother, you ain't got to worry about me. <laughs> I feel these words. I need these words myself. Man, oh man. <laughs> got me laughing and crying at the same time. Anybody else laughing and crying at the same time? <laughs> I'm laughing and crying. Woo! Man, that verse has got me tore up. Man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> I love y'all too. Just to have the brother right. Man, I hope I got white stuff all over my eyes. <laughs> Lena, come check out my face. <laughs> Thank you, Benjamin. Lena, come check my face out. You were kind. I don't know if I got white stuff all over my face. <laughs> Woo! Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yahoo! They said the whole place starts shaking. They were filled with the set apart spirit and they went out and spoke the word of Alua with boldness. 32. The community of believers. Well, with one heart and mind. <laughs> I got my stuff on. Lena bringing me stuff. I can't help it, babe. That one got me. <laughs> love you too. Lena, give me some love. Thank you, Archella. Come on. The community of believers were with one heart and mind. How many? Come on, Brother William. I see you. That's super. One heart, one mind. Did it say two? No. It said they were with, they were in one heart and one mind. What's going to shake the place? What's going to bring the miracles, the signs, the wonders? 144. I feel it in my soul. Brother Daniel, I feel it. I feel it in my soul that 144 of us going to be one. We're not going to argue. You, you won't catch us arguing with each other. Nobody's backstabbing. Everybody understands structure, order. Come on, Rush. Sister Rush in the building. All of us, it's going to be 144 of us. We just ain't going to, we just, you can't get between us. We love each other like they love each other right there. Yahuwah does all the big stuff when he can get us together. That's why Satan hates to keep us together. The community of believers were in one heart and one mind. None of them claimed that their possessions were their own. And they shared everything they had with each other. They had everything in common. Let me give all y'all straight up talk. There's no arguing. There's no debating. There's no negativity allowed in this community. None. You've got a problem. We got something we need to deal with and address. We do it with respect and honor and peace. We ain't trying to be right the wrong way. Come on, Sister Emily. We appreciate that, sis. We're not going to try to be right the wrong way. Yahuwah sent me to deal with a very specific group of people. Somebody else's ministry. Somebody else. There's all kind of gifts. You understand? There's all kind of gifts in the body. My gift in this body is we are the warriors. We're the front line people. We like this here. We ain't afraid if they drag us in different courts and different councils. We ain't afraid of none of that. Matter of fact, some of us going to call fire now 
from the heavens. Yeah. So we're not doing no negativity here. Don't send any emails with any shyness to the side and slick. If you're negative to anybody in the staff and promote the truth, we're just going to kick you out of the community. Because everybody in this team here, they got their right hearts. They work hard. So many volunteer for years <clears throat> to keep that word going. Designs and websites and video production and didn't ask for a dime. Years. So nobody's allowed to be negative against anybody in the community. Not against your brother, not against your sister, none of that. We ain't doing no Greek stuff in here. You know what they teach? If you have something against your brother and sister, go to them. You shouldn't be having nothing because your brother and sister should be keeping and guarding the commandments. And you should be doing the same thing. And if somebody's not doing that, there's a respectful way to get a quick check, but you ain't doing it with the wrong heart. We're going to do it this way. I'm doing it, leading the way to make sure that we do Mahashim. Chapter 4, verse 32, last sentence. They had everything in common. I don't need to agree with everybody out there about how they want to do things. They're not the 144 that I'm assigned to go get. All the rest of the world will be blessed by this teaching. And they will be blessed and highly favored if they don't talk trash and mess with the 144. Let us do what we got to do. We got to tear it down. No idols allowed. 144 coming to a city near you. And it ain't going to stand. None of that nonsense is going to make it. We'll be the ones to call the fire down from the heaven and tear up all kind of idols when it's said and done. Watch. <laughs> Lena said it great. Keep the keep yours, keep the commandments for you first. Then go look at your brothers and sisters. Hilarious. People won't go talking trash about their brothers and sisters, and they got a big old plank that they ain't got fixed in their own eyes yet. Stop it. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do Mahashim Acts 4 32. The community of believers were one in heart and mind. None of them claim that their possessions were their own and they shared everything they had with each other. So we got a group of people before any of y'all came around, before any of y'all came around, my beautiful new brothers and sisters, but y'all got to respect the ones who paid this way. And none of us ever went hungry. We took care of everything that everybody needed. You're going to meet some of them and they're going to look you in your eye. You're going to feel their soul that you can't get between us. Because we're these people. We're the, we these people right here. We're them acts. Mahashim chapter 4, 32 people. And if you can't understand that, we understand. you on the outside, not on the inside. 33. With great power and boldness, the emissaries told everyone that the master Yahuwah Mashiach had resurrected. And that he was now alive. Great favor was on all of them. See, when we're at one, when we're one, great favor is in that one. Yeah. No one lacked anything. Everyone who owned land or homes, if needed, would sell it, would sell them. They would bring the proceeds to the emissaries. The emissaries would then distribute the money to anyone that needed it. And there was a man named Yusuf who was one of the followers. He was from the lineage of the Luyim, the Levites. And he lived in Kapar. The emissaries nicknamed him Barnabas. Meaning, watch what his name meant. His name meant the one who encourages. 
the encourager, Yahuwah. He owned a piece of land and sold it. He brought the money from the sale of his land to the emissaries to distribute as they saw fit and led by example. So he led by example. It's coming to time, man. I'm telling y'all. Most of y'all hold on. Come on, Christmas, yeah. With you, brother, in the name of Yahuwah. See, so it's coming a time where we're going to need each other like that, that, that. Because the world can't don't know what to do with us. So we're going to have to watch out for each other, take care of each other. It's going to be time. Somebody got to make sure, hey, that brother, sister over there, they've been cut off from this world system. Somebody got to get them, take care of them, make sure they got something to eat, make sure they got something to place to stay, transportation. That's what we're going to have to do for it's all said and done. I feel that. Y'all better feel it. Y'all better just read Revelation, Hazun, when we bring it out. You're going to know that's coming. Anyway, happy new moon day. <laughs> happy new moon day. Yahoo had a great message for us today, didn't he? He had a great, great message today. It really touched my heart teaching it. I'm over here crying and laughing at the same time. Yeah. What we need everybody to do, let's go. We're going to finish strong. We're going to go to the 30th of this month with TSNT.org, the campaign. That's the true scriptures, New Testament, the Brit Adash. I am, your brother is in the trenches translating. I'm pushing myself to the max under the care of our incredible naturopathic physicians. They're teaching me what, you know, I got to make sure to keep exercising too, because sometimes I just lock in. And I'm, I'm in the heat of dealing with my Hashim. And what I'm tackling is I'm, I, I, I don't just go get because I'm, I'm not only what I realize about my translations, I'm not just translating the word from the Peshitta. I'm translating it and then I am learning to tear down all their lies as I am doing it. Y'all see what I'm saying? So they got the, they got 400,000 errors. Most of these things are designed to take us away from Yahuwah. So I'm translating to be able to tear down lies to teach the 144. Here's how you do it. So it's taking me a little bit extra time to do that. And I hope you understand that. It just is. I'm just doing it different. And nobody going to be able to deal with us. They're not going to be able to argue with us. They're not, we're going to sit there and strip them spiritually naked when it comes to the truth of Yahuwah and that word. And we're going to throw that Greek in the lake of fire. That Greek translation is going in the lake. So everybody, tsnt.org. What A. See what the word. It said people did what they needed to do. What they were doing it for was to advance the word of Yahuwah. You see, the reason they were doing what they were doing, when they were doing their different selling, we're not talking go sell your home or anything. We're not talking about that. We're talking about make sure you are properly getting this word of Yahuwah distributed. Y'all see the things we're doing. We got music divisions coming out. We got advanced marketing campaigns. We got a multi-feature video campaign coming out. The voice talent that we had do the name video. You've already seen them drop a couple. We got them doing a set of 10, a 10 series. It's expensive when you got all this talent. So we need y'all to make sure the ones, I'm not talking about everybody. I'm talking about that 144 spirit going, you know what? I'm, on the, I'm one of them warriors that's like these people here. I'm like these people, the Yahoo, Yahoo Hanan and Kappa had pulled together that was tearing it up. And they added like 5,000. Imagine when we got 5,000 together here. All on the same page. This earth, Yahuwah is going to be coming back. Shortly after that, hey, how can the earth take that much truth? I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I'll get back with you. Your brother's going to translate. Y'all pray for me. Hold me up. Take action on this word. I love you with all I got. See you soon. Bye-bye.